guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So today we're going to be talking about the newest Natasha Denona palette and this is her Yuka palette. So there you go, this is what the palette looks like. I, I actually love the design, I think it's so pretty. And let me just show you the shades. So there you go. Isn't it pretty? That looks definitely very promising. It also looks like a very easy to use palette, if you know what I mean. Whenever I can see that the mattes are kind of in the same kind of like a color family, uh, that always makes it so much easier to create a cohesive look. So this is, should be like an easy palette to use, but let's not waste time on speculating, let's just swatch it. So we're starting with Plantasia, and this is Sparkling Foiled Green and Bronzy Rosewood Duochrome. That's a mouthful. But ooh, this is stunning. Uh, next up, Calathea. This is Matte Medium Dark Olive Green. Then we have Komorebi, Sparkling Foiled Mustard Gold. And then Acacia, Matte Golden Olive. So there is that. Then we have Camu Camu, which is Matte Vibrant uh, Lime. Next up, Tipu, Matte Dusty Mustard Green. Then we have Elysian Sparkling Foiled Medium Top. Oh, that one is stunning, isn't it? And then we have Valley, which is Matte Dusty Mustard Brown. Kind of need to squeeze these shades uh, close to each other because I might not have enough space on my like arm for all the swatches. Next up we have Citrine, this is Matte Medium Mustard Citrine. Ray, Metallic Green Gold. Flux, Matte Dark Brown. And then Fushi, Matte Light Medium Mustard Yellow. So this is what it looks so far. I have three more shades over here. I'm just going to swatch them here. So we have Makia, which is Sparkling Foiled Medium Golden Olive. Wow, that one is so pretty. Then we have Ixia, Matte Burnt Caramel. They swatch beautifully. And then we have Willow, which is Matte Medium Dark Teal Green. And this is the one over here. So these are the swatches. I think they're actually quite impressive. This one looks a little bit uneven, but that's not because of the quality of the shade. It's just, you know, it was kind of like an even surface. So that is the reason. But I actually really like the color story here. I think it's quite unique and I can't wait to test it out now. Okay guys, so this is what I decided to go for. I created this like a very simple, quick look uh, just to test as many colors as possible and to see what the quality of the eyeshadows is. And I have to admit, I'm quite impressed with the quality of the palette. I mean, I'm not surprised. This is what I pretty much expect from Natasha Denona. But you know how it is, like, that might happen like here and there that your expectations are, are not fully met. This palette seems to be the best Natasha Denona can offer. Uh, the formulas are amazing, super easy to work with. So let me recreate this look on my left eye now and I'm obviously just going to walk you through and tell you all I think about this palette while doing it. So I'm going to start with Kamu Kamu over here and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. So this is actually quite interesting because even though this shade is actually very kind of like light, you can definitely see this on my eyelid. And this is what I actually love about Natasha Denona eyeshadows quality. Like there are like so many other palettes that I'm pretty much like trying to apply the lightest color on my eyelid and I see like I see nothing. Uh, here it's this very kind of like bright yellowy shade and yeah you can definitely see that so that is amazing uh next up i'm going to go ahead and add some of this shade over here which is citrine and i'm going to add it uh in my crease so this shade shows really nicely as well but it also like blends so nicely it kind of almost like builds the intensity from camu camu so it's just like like one step farther from it so yeah, there's that. That actually works perfectly. Uh, then I was actually wondering whether I should use uh, this shade over here, which is Acacia, or this one shade over here, which is Tipo. And to be honest, this is probably my only problem with this palette so far. These shades are actually quite similar to each other, at least on my skin. So look, these are these two shades over here. And as you can see, they are quite similar. Yes, there's like a slight kind of different in like undertone, but other than that, they look quite similar. They're both like cream to matte formula. So um, I don't, I'm not really sure 
why we have uh, two shades that are that similar, but it is what it is. So in this situation, I decided to randomly choose one of the shades and I just chose Acacia. So this is the shade that I'm going to use on my other eye as well, because, you know, in case there is a difference that's quite visible on camera. I mean, obviously I kind of prefer uh, my eyes to look like similar to each other, right? Not a like, complete difference. So this is like the next step of like building color here. I'm going to apply this uh, shade in my crease as well and a little bit on this like in this outer corner. By the way, these creamy mattes are actually super easy to work with. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't just probably like let them stay for like too long. I would just like blend them like straight away because I'm not really sure how blendable they're going to be like after like a couple of minutes so just blend them straight away but they're like very easy to work with and it's very easy to build your color using these okay so finally i'm going to add a little bit of this uh, calathea shade over here which is this dark green and i'm going to apply this in my outer corner and this is going to add even more depth to this look so this is where we add currently as you can see these mats are blended seamlessly and it did not even take me that long like literally they just blend like butter so that is amazing so obviously we need some sparkles now uh i decided i mean i just couldn't make my decision because they all look so amazing on swatches here but i kind of really wanted to use this one over here which is macchia the kind of like a greeny kind of golden shade and it's just so stunning so i'm going to apply this like pretty much all over my eyelid focusing on the outer part and the center of my eyelid so i'm just going to lift this uh, inner corner alone for now and i'm just going to use this shade in my inner corner and this is como como rebi so i'm going to use a little bit of that shade in my inner corner this one has a little bit more like golden shades to it it's like less green so it actually works with the other shade perfectly and these two shades blend with each other so nicely so this is what we've got now we're going to move on to my lower lash line here i wanted to try something different uh, so i decided to go uh, with this shade over here this is flux and then i decided to top it up with uh, this a shimmery shade over here which is elysian so let's do that now so uh flux just on my lower lash line I'm not sure if you can hear like we're rumbling outside there's like a proper thunderstorm now so yeah I'm not sure if you can hear that but it's actually pretty cool I really love thunderstorm not particularly when I'm outside but when I'm sitting at home it's all nice and cozy it's perfect okay so let's add the Elysian to add some sparkle and then I added a little bit of this shade uh, in the kind of like inner corner of my lower lash line I kind of wanted to see how it's going to look uh, because it does have a little bit of like pinkish golden undertones in here but the thing is uh, on such a small space it does not really show as much as it could uh, it looks so much better on a swatch here look at that this is stunning but I think I would just literally have to apply this all over my eyelid like upper eyelid to do the justice to this color but I'm going to repeat what I did with my other eye so I'm just going to add a little bit of this shade over here okay that's it there you go uh, i told you it was very quick i'm going to add some eyeliner and mascara and i'll be back with you to share my final thoughts about this palette so here's my finished makeup and my final thoughts so i do think this palette is stunning i really love the kind of like grungy vibe it gives me you can create like so many nice looks and yet this palette is so easy to use you don't really have to be a professional makeup artist to be able to create a beautiful look with it just by looking at this palette i already Really feel inspired to create like three or four different looks like just look at that it is so pretty and not to mention the quality is outstanding the quality is what we would expect from a Tartelona for that price I also love the fact that we have this midi size I think this has been her main size of palettes recently which actually makes me really happy I think those like large palettes um, they are like obviously much more expensive but at the same time the only difference is that they have bigger pans I, I think these pans are like perfect these pans are enough i don't really need anything bigger than that and because of that obviously the price is more reasonable as well to be honest guys i actually love every single thing about this palette this is so much my color story as well would i recommend it definitely if you like this color story there's nothing i didn't like about this palette so definitely money well spent okay guys so this is everything from me today thank you very much for watching for more makeup related content check those videos over here i'm going to see you very soon take care bye